Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Monday, April the 5th. Pretty sure it's Monday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because yesterday was Easter. Yeah. Uh, I got a finished object because I wanted to hop on and share with you guys because it's normal. <laughs> and I also got a few balls of yarn I wanted to share also. And I think I got a pretty good deal on them. I've never bought this yarn before. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'll talk about that in a minute. Let's talk about the crochet thing first. <laughs> Anyways, um... I made this cute little amigurumi unicorn. I wanted to f try to find an amigurumi unicorn <laughs> pattern that I can make a bunch of quickly uh, to stash up for a craft fair I'm thinking about doing later this year. But this is not the pattern I'm going to do that with because <laughs> this took too much time. Uh, when I make craft fair uh, projects, I want them to be things that I can do a bunch of in a few days. And this one took me longer because it's got a little bit more detailed pieces, but it's still adorable. <laughs> and it'll still go in my craft uh, fair container, but I'm not going to be making a ton of these because uh, it's just not worth the time that I, for the price and all that, you know. I'd have to uh, charge more because of the time it takes to make them. Anyways, long story short, here it is. <laughs> it is adorable. And it's, its legs are on its butt so it can sit, you know. Look at it. <laughs> so cute. It is cute. It did have a mane in the pattern, but I didn't put it on there in case a little kid bought it. I didn't want a bunch of little strings hanging off, but because um, it, it still looks like a unicorn even without a mane. <laughs> it's really blown out because it's sunny, but it's so cute. I used Red Heart Super Saver, I think for both of two of the colors. This is a scrap of Yarn Bee, I'm pretty sure, or maybe I Love This Yarn. I think it's a little scrap ball of I Love This Yarn sun gold that I made my sweater out of and this is just red heart super saver white and perfect pink I'm thinking <laughs> I can't remember but uh they're just scrap balls so the reason it's gonna it takes too long to make one to make multiple ones in a week uh is the legs and arms mostly because uh there's so much single crocheting it just takes too much time to make it worth my while unless I was gonna charge a lot for these and then no one would buy them if they were expensive <laughs> so um There'll be this one, and then I'm going to try to, I'm going to keep looking around and try a few more unicorn patterns and see if I can get, I'd like to be able to make at least two a day to be able to make it worth, because like those little bees that I've been making, I can make those in like less than an hour. Um, so if I can find something similar, <laughs> unicorny, I'll be doing that. I'm also going to do that with monkeys, giraffes, what was the other thing? Unicorns, monkeys, giraffes, horses. Those those are the items that people asked for at my last craft fair. They wanted more uh, unicorns, monkeys, giraffes, horses, and cows. I do have some cow patterns. I'm pretty sure are going to be quickly to work up quick. So I'm working on those other animals. <laughs> but I still think this is adorable. This is a free pattern. It's called Little Unicorn Buddy by Kim's Colorway. It's, I think it's a free Ravelry download. I think is where I got it, but you can probably get it on their website too. I'll link them both below if I can find it on both of those platforms. But it's adorable. It turned out super cute. It's just, it works too slow to be a craft fair project. But yeah, it's going to go in that uh, container and I'll still sell it, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, I just won't have multiple ones. But I think it's adorable. And I wanted to share it with you guys because I got it done yesterday. I actually had it done crocheting a few days ago. And every time I sat down to sew it together, I had to go do an errand or someone would call me or something. So I finally sat down and sewed all its body parts on yesterday. So it is done and done. -er. And then the yarn that I got, we went to a store. We were going to try to go to Lowe's yesterday, but they were closed. We didn't know they would be closed on Easter. I guess we should have known that. <laughs> but, um... So we went to another store in that town that Lowe's is at, and it was called Bargain Hunt. And I've been in there before, but years and years ago, before I was even with Devin, uh, so like nine years ago or more. And uh, you know, I wasn't really, I, I crocheted back then, but I wasn't looking for yarn. So I actually went in there to get a wig for Halloween. <laughs> but um, this, this time we just went to look around because we were just wasting time, you know. We were already in that town and wanted to just waste time. So. Uh, we walked all around it, and then when I got to the back of the store, they had, like, a little craft section with, like, uh, scrapbooking stuff, some sewing stuff, some yarn, and, um, like, journals and things like that. So, they had a bunch of yarn. I think I took a picture. Uh, if I, yeah, I do. I'll insert it here somewhere. <laughs> uh, they had some yarn, uh, different types of yarn than the one I bought, but I just wasn't interested in purchasing it. Uh, what I wanted was this size 5 that I found. And these are big balls of it. So, I got this one. It's... Premier Serenity Chunky, and it was $4, but it's the 
273 yard size. So I looked online and the regular size of this balls is 109 yards for $3.99. So I feel like I got a good deal because it's more than twice the yarn for the same price. So it's like buy one get one free kind of <laughs> and then some. So I got this one. I only had one of this colorway but I thought it was really pretty. It is called Outcrop. But I like uh, grays and blacks and whites and stuff mixed together. So I thought that was pretty. And it is size 5 bulky. 273 yards and it's 100% acrylic. So I got one of those. And then they had a whole bunch of this colorway. And I told Debbie, Devin if I had had a buggy, I didn't get a buggy shopping cart. <laughs> um, I would probably bought all of this. But I we didn't get a cart when we walked in the store. We just was looking around. We wasn't planning on buying anything. We ended up buying a bunch of stuff. But, uh, you know, that's how it is. So I grabbed two of these. Right here. Because these are some of my favorite color combos. Uh, blues and greens together. And this kind of reminds me of like a chunky version of Red Heart Super Saver uh, Banana Berry. That's <laughs> what it kind of looks like. But it's the same thing. It's Premier Serenity. Chunky. And it was also $4. And it's $2.73 also. So, and it's acrylic and five. And this colorway is called... Bright water. So I'm happy with that. I thought that was a pretty good buy. They had a bunch of this color. They had this one of this one, and I think they had another one, but it just wasn't a color I wanted. But uh, they're real pretty. I'll probably make amigurumis out of them eventually. Um, yeah, and who knows? I might go back and grab some more. Uh, I'll give other people a chance to grab any. But uh, yeah, I like it. So, and I don't really get a lot of premier yarn because I don't live near a Michaels, which I think is who sells. Uh, premier yarn but uh, yeah so that was my little yarn haul it was $12 I think that's pretty good because it's uh, chunky yarn and it's a lot of yardage so I was proud because it's $4 for over twice the amount of the $4 balls online <laughs> and then that's a cute little unicorn it has a lot of pieces though if you're gonna make this because one two three four five six seven eight nine and then the body is ten so it's ten pieces but um yeah, it is adorable. I wish it was quicker to crochet. I'd make some more of them. But yeah, I guess that's everything I wanted to share with you guys today. <laughs> uh, I mean, I did the bee video and then now this one, the unicorn, is because I don't really have the time to sit down and film my actual No Kitchen Jam episode. So I'm just filming when I can little finished objects. <laughs> so I'm going to go in there and watch some Grey's Anatomy and finish eating my popsicle. I have it sitting here kind of thawing out. <laughs> <laughs> so that I can eat it easier and I'm going to look for some more unicorn patterns to try out and then I got to get ready to start sewing over there on my washer I just got done cutting fabric and batting today for a bunch of bags that will be coming up in the shop hopefully next week sometime but I'm not sure when <laughs> but uh yeah so that's everything I wanted to share with you guys today I hope to get some more videos out soon but I don't know we'll see <laughs> I'll see you guys in another video bye guys